All right. Alvin, just thoughts on the win going into someone's backyard and knocking them over the first round. Does it get any better than that? No, man, I got a lot of respect for Ricardo, too. I couldn't show up before the fight because in my head, uh, he's the enemy up until afterwards, and I was happy to go over, shake his hand after. I don't, you know, it was an honor to fight him in, in Chicago, his hometown. He had that place rocking. They were cheering for him, booing for me. I loved every second of it. Chicago has been great all week, too great. It's kind of weird, and um, I'm leaving Tuesday, catching a game at Wrigley tomorrow and getting a deep dish beforehand. I'm really excited to take in, really take in Chicago now the next couple of days. Why not? I'm in Chicago. Yeah, well, that's the thing is because because they don't got that shit back home, you know. So, you know, while I'm out here, they got thin crust here. I have to, I'll try all that shit. I ate someone's fries on the way out of the cage. I don't know if you caught that. I, I was not, I'm getting started early, man. I can't wait. Is that how you envision the fight going that quickly? Just, just kind of what Josh Emmett did? Yeah, I'm, I just I envision putting my hands on everybody, you know, putting them on the canvas. Everybody, yeah, I try to, I try to put my hands on them. I don't know how it's going to happen. And if you go in there with too much of a precise game plan, shit ain't going to happen, you know? So I just go in there and I try to let my body react. And uh, we work on triggers and reactions all camp. So this way you're not thinking when you step in there, because if you're thinking you're a little slow, you're a little behind, you're getting leg kicked. <laughs> so this time uh, we just reacted, landed a big shot. And I've, when he hit the ground, I was like, oh shit, I followed up. <laughs> You know, just the one that landed. The I didn't Boston, even feel it. With the Boston Bruins losing the other night, did you feel like to get one back? Yeah, and what's the score right now? They're playing tonight, right? Is it tonight? So, yeah. No, tomorrow? Tomorrow? Shit. All right. Yeah, so I'll be there. I'll be checking that out. But you're damn right. Um, seems like every time I fight, we're in the finals for something. Yeah. <laughs> but the only thing we don't have is a UFC belt. But in all Working on it. You just got a new contract with the UFC. It's part of you tonight, you know, with that win, saying, you know what, you guys got a good investment. Here. You're damn right. And I earn it every time. Every time. Everything I've ever got to this point, I've earned. And I'm ready to earn the next contract and everything following, man. Like you said, off a renegotiation, a nice one. Uh, the win side was extra special. It was almost like I bonused. And you throw a bonus on top of that. I'll be like a pig and shit, man. I can't wait. I hope, you know, I'm checking Twitter all night. But right now, it's it's impactful for me. Obviously, this is game, this is game changing money for me at this point. And uh, I'm excited to go onward and upward, man. Put me with whoever you want. Just keep paying me. You guys have been around for roughly about the same amount of time. MMA, but he's been he got a shot before me, yeah. I mean, paper, I'd say so. Aside from uh, Moicano and Burgos, those are two tough guys, you know. Uh, Moicano's got headline the card coming up. Burgos is ranked above me right now, right now. I don't know about next week, but um, those guys are tough dudes, you know. Um, I feel like that's all they are in the UFC. A lot of tough guys, but this is where I belong. And they someone called it Murderer's Row. I'm ready, man. You know, so now I'm starting to get paid right for these type of fights, and I'm down to put it all on the line. You pay me, I'll go and risk my, my neck every time uh, for the best organization in the world. It didn't look like you took any damage tonight. It's a quick turnaround, fair to say? Man, I'm pumped. Yeah, I hear they're going to Boston soon. I'd love to headline it. You know, put me in there with anybody, and we'll get the asses out of the seat at, at the Garden. I can't, I can't wait. This fight was a veteran. Is that what you want in your next fight, or would you mind fighting, you know, an up-and-comer as well? I mean, some you guys tell me, man, line it up. If I'm headlining the card, I, I'm sick of it. those. Are the things that are outside of my control. I just want to train hard and, and, and take out whoever they put in front of me. Talk to my manager. Hopefully, he lines somebody up. Yeah, anybody they want. Especially, I, I think if you want to headline cards, you can't ask for anybody. Tell me who you want me to headline the card with. Let's do it. Are you going to Greenville next week for, for Rob's fight? Hell yeah, man. I, every time, it seems like every time I walk out of the cage, too, I see him. Man, I, you don't understand. That's my road dog. He, you know, he, kid gets me ready. In order to be an elite athlete, you got to have someone pushing you day in, day out. And uh, he's that guy, man. He's a real deal. And in two weeks, he's going to get that W back.